All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Star Renegades. It's made by Massive Damage, who are the people that made Halcyon 6, a game that I absolutely loved years ago, and have been waiting for this game uh, ever since. I actually would, like, find them at conventions and be like, when? And they'd be like, we recognize you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm the guy that shows up and says, when? Every time. That's not ex exactly the phrasing, but, you know, close enough. Anyway, let's get rolling. Uh, so this is the beta demo version. I don't know if this is going to change too much between now and the early access release on September 8th. Uh, but I'm going to take a look at it now, and then we'll come back for the... I believe it's an early access launch. So we'll be back for that on the 8th, and then we'll probably be back for the inevitable 1.0 release. Five years now down the line once I've forgotten everything. Anyway, all right, the only thing left to do is turn you on. Activate droid. Activate droid. Activate droid. I have to click on it. Beautiful. All systems go. Maybe this fight isn't over after all. I did a pretty good job making you look like a run-of-the-mill servo bot. That should come in handy. Now. It's probably Jet... J5T1N. Jetton? Jetton. Jetton? I almost thought, like, Justin, but that's not quite it. Just Justin? No, it might actually be Justin. J-S-T-I-N. Justin. Yeah. Now, Justin, we have to go outside. I'll let you lead the way. Okay, there we go. So I can move the map around. I like the art style. The mix of 2D and 3D works pretty well. Uh, can I leave? Okay. The controls are a little funk and doodle But I understand it. What? These buildings usually aren't on fire. The attack just ended, so so they'll be back soon to finish the job. So we have to hurry. The entry point is right over there. Pay attention, J5. You need to walk through this portal to deliver a very important message for me. Find Professor Zurich. They're the only other person I can trust. They might be a little testy, but that's just how geniuses are sometimes. Find them and play the message I gave you. Can you do that? Beep. I'll take that as a yes. Countless lives depend on you doing that. Though, try not to let that give you a big head or sphere, I suppose. Go through the portal when you're ready. Really? What's that? Don't worry about me. Your mission isn't the only thing that matters anymore. Oh, your mission is the only thing that matters anymore. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this works. Good. Well, into the past. Save people. Oh, can we actually read this stuff? Kind of. Citizen, I'm not saying those signals we caught last night were extra-dimensional aliens, but if they were, then I just hope I'm not going to get probed. I haven't seen this much commotion here since we proved the non-existence of space whales. I'll remember that till the day I die. Who'd have thought physicists would get so violent? <laughs> Alright! What did I say about not being... Uh, come here and give me whatever message you have. She's Professor Zur Zurich. I'm in the middle of studying the most important, unexplainable quantum phenomenon of my career, so whatever this is, I hope it's reality-shattering. Hello, Dr. Zurich. Okay, I guess that counts. Let's cut to the chase. I'm you, and you're me. We're from different realities. I know this is highly confusing even to you. I've sent this hyper-advanced servo bot across the quantum divide to warn you. Your reality is under attack even as we speak. Does this have anything to do with... The Q-71 entanglement phenomenon you detected over Norish? Norosh? Precisely. You've certainly alerted the Star Union Council, and they've dispatched the Armada to investigate. You'll learn very soon that the Armada is destroyed, has been destroyed by a starship of unimaginable power cloaked in the entanglement. This ship is from another reality, and its goal is to conquer your entire galaxy. I know, because they've already conquered mine. I've got to warn them? It's too late. But, when the Council calls, seeking your brilliant expertise on parallel realities, you'll need to have a plan ready. And that's where I come in. 
I know these invaders' next move and how you can stop them. If you follow my lead, your world has a shot. But if you fail, just promise me you'll send uh, J5 through to the next reality they invade because they will never stop. Now listen up, here's the plan. Meanwhile, over Norosh, a small force of mysterious raiders destroys the mighty Star Union Armada. The surviving starfighters attempt to regroup, pursued by their relentless enemy squadrons. Win, answer me. I know you're alive. I'm fine, Dave. Dav? Those enemy fighters are good. Really good. I'm lucky I managed to land in one piece. Yeah, Davion. Probably Davion? Davion? You get points for missing all those buildings. Ah, Zub Zub Crud. I've got more of those fighters on my tail. Where are they all coming from? I landed by the train to Fort Garon. If I can get to the base in time, you can get those anti-aircraft guns online. My thoughts exactly. That'll be a nice surprise for these fighters following me. Great plan. I'll calm you when I'm at the base. Over and out. Oh, this ge game gives me D&D &D campaign ideas. Oh, God damn it. Shell really needs to stop writing notes on my notes. Oh, I hate it. All right, whatever. Okay. I've just taken... Uh, ooh. Blocking Wind Starfighter. I'm going to interact with this, or can I not? Not the best use of taxpayer dollars. Okay. Uh, I've just taken to start uh, starting to write down, like, uh, notes whenever I can. Uh, what do you use for notes? Old analog? Pen and paper? OneNote? Evernote? I, I use Google Docs, and I use pen and paper. Most of the time. The problem is, uh, Shell will just come by and just write notes on my notes, and it's actually really frustrating, because her notes are like, where are keys? And my notes are, like, in-depth things about, uh, you know, plot details for a D&D campaign. And so I think I need to start leaving really uh, annoying notes on her notebooks so she gets the point. Uh, she she gets the idea not to do it. I'm picking up some strange signatures on the train. Something tells me they aren't commuters. These raiders have ground troops too then, eh? But yeah, I like Google Docs because it's just synced between all of my systems. I've tried Evernote, but I just, I don't know. Keep a separate notepad for her to write these things down on. She takes them and wanders off with them along with all of my other notebooks. It is a problem. Let's see how they are at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Prepare to meet my doom. What? I think you meant your doom? Oh, never mind. This will be a cinch. I'll take him out with a cleave. All right. Combat in Star Renegades is deterministic, meaning you can see your enemy's actions before they execute, allowing you to defend, crit, stagger, or break them. All actions are displayed on the timeline according to their execution time in the round, except for instant actions, which execute immediately. Every round is 60 seconds. A unit's health is shown in the status bars above their heads, consists of shields, health, armor. Any effects are also displayed above the status bars. On enemies, you can see the action they are going to execute. Shields regenerate at the end of combat. Health and armor can be increased or healed during camping or from health and armor crates found during missions. Alright, cleave. There we go. See, how much HP do I have? He may be dumb, but I should probably hit him before he hits me. I'll recalibrate and crit him with a slash. A crit occurs when a unit is hit before they can execute their action. The crit bonus that is applied is shown below the attacking power's main information. Crits can do extra damage, break the enemy's attack, pierce shields or armor, damage armor, or have other devastating effects. Be careful though, enemies can also crit your heroes if they are hit before they execute their attack. Okay, so we've got Slash. It takes one. Let's see. So the crit bonus, bonus uh, crit bonus is extra damage, armor break, and push, pushes him back by 20 seconds. Well, this is a cool system. One of the reasons why I liked Halcyon 6 so much was it had a really solid RPG, like series of RPG mechanics and status effects especially, and it seems like they expanded that heavily. That got his attention. I'll smash him with Hugh to break him and install attack. Attacks can stagger an enemy's action, delaying it to ex execute later in the round, allowing your squad to execute more actions and crits before the enemy can act. The amount of stagger an attack can do when a crit is shown... Okay. In green. 
With careful planning, you can chain attacks together and land multiple staggers on an enemy and break them by pushing them onto the next round. However, enemies have a stagger limit denoting how many times they can be staggered before they're immune. This is shown. Got it. Alright, Q. This will do bleeding and push him back around. Let's see. Game music is overpowering your, your voice. You're correct. That got loud. I'm sorry. The menu music was nice and nice and quiet, but this got louder. Time to end this. The slash should finish the job. Yeah, I've played this demo a couple of times, but they didn't have the tutorial, so now I actually understand what I'm doing, and it's a lot better. Alright, so we get some moons. Okay, I'm at the base. Just what I thought. It's been hit with some kind of EMP. Well, at least the coast is. Teleported in. Union techs have been researching that for decades. How do these guys do it? They may be more advanced than us, but at least we can take them out in a fight. Let's see how I do against this next one. Just remember your training. You'll be fine. Titan hands. Oh, I guess the earth shifted enough to expose one of these titan's hands. Now, I know there's stuff to sometimes explore and look around for, but it doesn't look like I have anything immediately available. Well, time to fight this guy. Let's see if we're still in tutorial mode or if I'm just going to fight him. The Imperium will make you burn! Sounds like he could use some ointment for that. Now let's try a cleave. Okay, so he's doing smelt, but this'll smack him up. Nope, it didn't put him into the next round. Ow. Whoops, that didn't work. Maybe a lighter touch. Let's try Hue. All attacks have a core damage type that describes what kind of attack it is. They are light, normal, heavy, flurry, AoE, counter, and combo attacks. Adversaries may be weak to specific core damage types and take extra damage and delays from them. However, they can also be resistant or even immune to specific types and take little no damage. So he is... Weak versus sword. Let's see. Where did I... Where is... Traits. I see. Weak versus light. Weak versus normal. Attacks do pyro damage. Extra resistance against pyro. Okay, so that... That gets him good. That breaks him. That messes him up. That's better. Now to slash him for another break. Okay. Well, it's messing him up. I think we might want to actually turn the game's sound effects down and turn the music back up a little bit. The stagger limit is empty. So much for delaying him. I'll have to defend to minimize damage from his flame attack. Defend... It bothers me a little bit that she has an exosuit with seemingly no armor. Ooh. Okay, pal, I'm getting sick of you. Let's try to crack your armor with Sunder. Armor absorbs damage before it reaches health. The amount of damage that can be absorbed per hit is equal to the amount of armor they have. Attacks can cause armor damage on a crit. Display the amount of armor damage in the attack's details. Some attacks are elemental damage types can pierce armor. Well, it doesn't damage the armor. It can bypass some of it. Okay. So, Sunder. Normal. Damage versus person. Crit bonus breaks armor and pushes them back. It definitely looks like a construction suit. Very Surge style instead. Makes sense as a melee attacker, but at the same time, you really would want, like, a, an armor plating over her chest and head. His armor's completely broken. Now to finish him off, I'll crit with a slash. I'm looking forward to not actually be doing this with the tutorial so I can properly learn. I find tutorials are kind of in one ear, out the other. I could use those guns right about now. I've got a trail of fighters right behind me. Roger that. Yeesh, little sis to the rescue, I guess. Nope, don't see anything else. Fort Garen. Fort Garen saw a lot of action in the Flux Wars. That's mostly used for training. There we go. 
Oh, that's the transfer spot. I get it. I don't see anything else to immediately explore or interact with, so let's go this direction. Okay, Dav, the guns are powered up. I'll lead these fighters right to you. It'd be like shooting zub zubs in a barrel. Uh, where'd that ominous otherworldly ship come from? I got a bad feet. Davion, pull up. Something else took remote control of the guns. I guess I botched the landing. Dav, you're alive. We gotta get out of here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just a little shaken. That was a close call. I found what you're looking for, mother. He's as pathetic as you said he'd be. Your life, it is nothing. Kinda sounds like dad, right? Not the time for jokes, Win. Remember, find his weakness, exploit it again and again. Huh, maybe I'm sounding like dad now. Use inspection mode, got it. Alright, so he is weak against heavy, strong against light. Let's see. Applies crit, irradiated, and he's doing laser eyes. It's really good against just basic health. So which character am I using? Cycle units. Tab? Okay. Normal, light, heavy. But that'll be behind. So he's got blade throw, AOE vivisect, but that's below. Take a look. So vivisect does more damage. Now if I remember right, he resists light, yes? Yes. Okay, so we don't want to do any light attacks. Slash would do the trick. Cleave is too slow. Blade Throw pushes him back pretty dang far. Siphon Stab doesn't seem like it's worth it. So we probably want to do... Hmm. Her Sunder does way less damage than his does. His Vivisect is real good. But real low. So if I do that, that'll put him back there. Can I put him back 30 seconds? Because Hugh's not going to work. I'll just put him on the next round. Let's just do that. And we'll do Sunder. Oh, I actually would have been able to do Sunder. Like, Sunder him in time. I didn't realize. Well, is what it is. Okay. So we got time for another... Blade throw. How much armor does he have? Oh, he's got seven armor left. So if I do this to him, that won't push him back. And what's he about to do? Laser eyes. You know, okay, so he's going to hit her. So if she defends, and he vivisects, because he's going to shoot her. She defends, tanks the hit, he gets in there, gets him in the vivisect, hits him hard. Win, remember that combo attack we used to practice? The one where he broke dra dad's grav hopper, in the, uh, grav hopper window doing? That's the one. Now's a good time to try it out again. Good idea, just make sure we've generated enough fury first. Okay, generate fury by landing crits and breaks on the enemy. Crits generate one fury while breaks generate two. Use fury to act execute special actions or combo maneuvers for devastating effect. Combos are special maneuvers that cost fury and executed by two of your heroes simultaneously. Every combo can only be executed once per combat. Combos are only available for heroes that have strong relationships, which can be increased during camping. So, Scyphic Slam requires 22. Okay. So, if I did Vivisex... We'd hit him first. Supposedly? Okay, so there's the Vivisect. 
And there goes his armor. Okay. He doesn't get to do laser eyes, but we can do this. All right, perfect. So not as much on the uh, status effect abuse, but I'm not against what they've got. A temporary setback. Mother shall soon have a victory. Uh-oh. Stay back, Win. I'll take care of this guy. What he lacks in charisma, he makes up for in hideousness. Mother only wants you, Davion Syphex. He has no interest in the female. No way you're doing this, Solar Dav. We need to work together to defeat him. Okay. So, this guy... Uh... What is even the point of any of this stuff? He's got so much HP. Well, it doesn't look like he's strong or weak to anything, and he's got so much shields that we're never getting through it. So I'll do my best. Uh, let's see. Let's do blade throw. And... Cleave. Pushes him back. And then we get a cleave. I don't think we're beating him, but never mind. We're not doing Bisquick to this guy. Who's he shooting? Shooting Davion. Yeah, we'll just keep cleaving him. It's not gonna matter. This is absolutely an unwinnable boss fight of some variety. Then we might... We might do better than I thought. Mayhem. Still shooting for Davion. We might have some options here. So if I do Blade Throw, pushes them back, but we're not going to be able to block it. Um, oh, and I can't undo that command either. Ah, good to know. Oh, let's go for Hugh. Oh no, we do actually get to push them back one. Alright, that gets the bleed going. I'm not actually sure how strong bleed is. Let me see. Effects bleeding. Bleeding 10 per round. Okay. He's shooting. We can't push him back any further. Let's keep doing hue. I wonder if we can stack bleed. No, it looks like bleed is a, uh... Enough. This is taking far too long and the results are inevitable. Dev, get back. Be careful. Alright, quantum burst. That's just unfair. Alright, Dev. Defend. And keep hewing him. It's not going to change a damn thing. Okay. Keep hewing him. Bleed for me. Well, there it goes. No, this can't be happening. Mother, I've done what you asked. Bring me back. I cannot last much longer. Don't give up, Dav. I can't do this without you. The attack stopped after that, but it was too late. The Star Union fleet was crippled, and you were dead. We buried you on Trigaxis, near the Quantum Studies Department of Trax University. You were always the star student. General Geddon himself spoke at this ceremony. He said now wasn't the time for despair, that we had to remember our values, to fight for our way of life. It wasn't just empty rhetoric. He introduced me to Professor Zurich, the lead researcher in quantum studies. 
The two of them had a plan to beat the raiders. They needed me to lead an elite team of heroes. They promised me a shot at revenge. How could I say no? The Imperium. The throne room is where you can view details of the Imperium, Hierarchy, and all currently known leaders, behemoths, and adversaries. From time to time, you'll be brought here to witness events such as deaths, promotions, introductions within the Imperium. You can also access the Imperium throne room directly from the main menu. Adversaries are elite soldiers of the Imperium. They are stronger, tougher, and have unique specials, special traits and abilities. They also have unique personalities, so no two adversaries are ever the same. Adversaries can also be promoted, evolve, and grow stronger whenever they're able to defeat you. Defeating an adversary usually results in a rare epic reward. So is this like a weird roguelite version of sci-fi Shadow of War? Mother, you look especially pretty today. Yeah, it absolutely is. That's really weird. Okay, so we got Lear Brishin. Menku Lieutenant Trooper. Uh, let's see, Strength. Okay, Resist Flurries. That's, I, okay, I dig this. So yeah, this is... Sorry about that, the engineer said the landing would be smoother. I've gone through worse landings lately. As long as you and... J5 survived. It's a success in my book. You should help with your companions and their pods. It seems they're having a little trouble with the hatches. Oh, come on. On it. Come on, J5. Help me out. Alright, I'm going to turn this back up a bit because I, the music is great. Maybe it needs to be down by, like, 5. I was going to turn the sound effects down a little bit. Oh, well, that's just tragic. There are no sound effects. Alright, I'm assuming there's nothing here. Or it's at least we gotta get Archon first. Okay, hopefully that's loud enough. Xurax Nurza, Archon, joins the Renegades. Level 1. How's the trip? All praise Lord Botula for delivering us safely to the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, Titans be praised, etc, etc. I get it. Look, you're not gonna try and convert me again, are you? Nodo Calthoris, Saboteur. I'm locked and loaded and ready to roll out. Let's smoke these bogeys. What are you doing? Just talking like a space marine. Don't you li don't like it? I can switch to Nodo normal style. Yeah, why don't you do that? No problemo. Normal it is, boyo. Enough chit chat. Move out and take control of that Imperium base. Kill anything that slows you down. Don't get cocky though. Mo their most powerful warrior officer is stationed at the base. We'll be in contact to provide mission specs along the way. Lock and load, boyos. Time to tag and bag some Imperial drones. Now, roll out. See? I told you that's how Space Marines suck. My spiritual teachings tell me that both paths are favored for our objective. Your wisdom clearly knows no bounds. Boss lady, I don't think these fundamentalists are big on sarcasm. What is sarcasm? Oh, I get it. You're being sarcastic right now, huh? Am I? Okay. Can I... I can look around. So we got a couple of options here. We've got a credits cache. Some things. Food. Food cards. Imperium Tech weapon. So it looks like... Both are effectively the same. We'll just go this way. Okay. So what do these guys have? Grounded when stunned. And the Robo Soldier has not much. Okay, so we have Cleave and Slash. Not much. Discharge, AoE, Bestow Shields and Defend. And what's he got? Blitz, Light, Reduces Defense. And a Straight Shot, which is a pretty good crit.
Okay. I think I'm going to split it up a little bit. We're going to do discharge. And I'm going to straight shot that guy. If we're lucky, we're going to just knock him back to the other... Timeline. Nope. But I do have shield, so hopefully it won't be so bad. And I do have the ability to bestow shields as well. Alright, so they're there. I can push him back by one. Bestow shields on her. Let's see, how much HP does he have? Oh, I see. So it's not enough to kill either of them. So I think what we want to do is do a blitz on who needs to die. Let's actually figure out. So he's doing direct strike, laser blast. Okay, so let's do blitz on this guy. Oh, which was instantaneous. And we're going to do cleave there. Hmm. In retrospect, my timing on that uh, could have been better, could have been worse. Alright. So we busted it up, and he's there. So Blitz is an instant, is a truly instant move. Discharge will hit them both, and probably kill the drone. Okay, let's do that. Let's do Blitz on this guy. Because that kicks him way back on the initiative order. And then we can just cleave this guy for damage. Okay, takes out the drone, and we're good. Not bad. Didn't take any damage, and we get some gene tech. Yeah, so there absolutely is meta progression in this game. You'll make a fine pace for mother. She must feast at the same the same as the rest of us. Go check out the Titan hand. Is anyone else a little freaked out by all the by all these giant hands? In the end, it's just a hand. A really, really old hand. I know a few collectors who'd pay top dollar for a Titan hand like this. Not much I can do about it. We get stuck on the terrain real easy. It is what it is. Give me that money. Let's go say hi. Okay, so what do we got? So what is this? Shield Drain. So they're both going for her, which is a little spooky. So Direct Strike, Shields Drain. Neither have any special features. So Shield Bot. So... Judging by AP, uh, HP and so on and so forth, Bestow shields on her. Go back here. Let's do blitz on this guy. Kicks it down the line. And then hit it with a big cleave. Okay. There we go. Decent chunk of damage. It's down. Question is, can I knock it around on the next round? Not really. Okay. So what do we have? All of my characters are actually in a pretty good spot. So let's go back to him. Let's just do Discharge. We're going to Blitz him. Could Blitz him, but I don't think it's going to do me a whole lot of good. So we want to we kick this guy back to the 
next level. Oh snap, Star, Star Renegades, is this out? Not yet. Star Renegades will be out, uh... Let's see, I could hit that sucker. No, I want to kill this guy. Uh, Star Renegades is going to be out on September 8th. This is just the preview. The embargo dropped today. Uh, so me and probably a number of other creators have probably started to cover it. I'm going to play more of it. I don't know if I'm going to play more of it in the intervening couple of days or how I'm going to do it. All right. So he's distributing shields, yeah? Cool. So if I do discharge... Question. How much HP does he have left? 13. Discharge... Should do 13. Okay, perfect. Alright, so kick him back to the next turn, and then cleave him down. I like this combat system. I give it to massive damage to always come up with an interesting take on pre-existing... Oh, shit, we killed that thing already. Oh, shoot. I didn't kill this guy. I... I must have been off by, like, one damage. That's tragic. Uh, let's see. Day after you turn 30? Nope, two days later. Alright, Imperium defenses. Impressive bit of machinery. Looks like they aren't online, though. Bad time for the Imperium to take a bathroom break. Now we have their guns. Some things... Oh, sometimes a big gun is just a big gun. Wait, you mean I can't, like, fire it at the boss or anything? Oh, That's a shame. Well, let's go check out food. Resistance to Pyro for... Okay, so it's a camping card. Pyro... Uh, pyro 25% for two combats. Interesting system. I will slaughter you and frolic in your mangled flesh! Oh, he had armor. That's the... That's the main difference. Now you shall feel the full extent of my righteous anger! Don't you dare! Okay, so... What's this guy? Covered. Has covering fire from an ally. I don't know what covering fire means. Let's take a look at this. Overwatch. Cannot be delayed. Overwatch hit. Got it. Let's take a look. Covering fire on an ally. Hates antimatter damage. Enraged when hit by antimatter damage. Let's see. Vader will retreat when heavily damaged. So, he's... Got it. So, I'm assuming we can't hit the... Other stuff particularly well. So, my assumption is... He is just blocking this guy, so I have to hit him directly. And anything else is going to mess me up. Alright, well in that case... That's going to make him take a walk. So he's got 14 shields. The problem is this guy's got an overwatch hit crit bonus, some other things. I could try and blitz this guy. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Okay. So he still gets the counterattack. Oh, but the armor stops it, so we, he doesn't actually take any damage. He loses his shields, but this is potentially the last fight. But we get our shields back, so it's not so bad. And then we just smack him around. In mother's name, I smite you! I like the combination of tropes and ideas here. Okay, so he's just shooting me. Same with him. Okay, so we've got a blitz. Now, if I blitz, I put the robot in the back. If I 
Blitz, I break him. The main question is, how much damage is he doing and who's he shooting? So he's doing 32. Plus some armor break. But what I want to know is if I can kill the Wyvern. I'm going to go for the Wyvern. Because taking out the trash mob seems like the, the right way to do this. Alright, so let's bestow shields on her. And she is going to cleave. No, okay, we're not going to be able to kill it. But we're doing fine so far. The lighting reminds you of Octopath Traveler. Yeah! Yeah, I can see that. It does have a similar visual style. Don't you dare! Alright, so he's got Overwatch. Which is kind of good. We see shooting. He's shooting, boy man. So the big issue is bestow shields on him. We gotta do that a bit faster. She can take the hit. That's it. So if I did that, it would be the kill shot. But it would take some damage. Let's not. Let's see. That's not the greatest damage here. Oh, did we get him with a bleed? I guess we did. All right, kind of works. Ow. Now you shall feel the full extent of my righteous anger. In mother's name, I smite you. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like uh, the one failing here is uh, dialogue to some degree. Or not really failing, but still. Okay, so we got to blitz this guy. Dude, what's he doing? Oh, cluster bomb versus everybody. So I want to kill. I want to kill that sucker. How much HP does it have left? It's got 24 plus a little bit of armor. I think go for broke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This will this will give me the kill shot. Who's the boss shooting at? Boss is shooting at her. Okay. So I think this will work. So that gets rid of him on the turn order. Breaks him hard. So no fire for him. And then we slash his bot. So his bot doesn't leave. And we get some more shields on her. So we've got to worry about that guy. But we're on our own now. He's got eight. So let's see. Keep blitzing him. He's just firing a regular shot, but I can just absolutely abuse this guy to the nines. I'm totally fine with that. There we go. I am digging this. This is a fun experience, and this is a pretty great game. I can't wait to get these characters some extra abilities, though. All right, let's can nope. Let's continue to blitz this guy. He just gets no turns. I think it bugged out. I don't think he's supposed to have nine uh, stun potential, but he does for reasons. And it means I can more or less just trance him into oblivion. Go 
But yeah, a aping off the Shadow of Mordor combat system is such a brilliant means of making your game more interesting and making every run kind of more exciting and having the enemies scale with your own meta progression. Camping card reward, dynamic duo, partnered finishing blow, exhaust when used. Just send my body back home. Can I get that item? Yes, please give me. Imperium Tech Common. Okay, so, Density Graft, extra HP. Exalt or Legendary, all attacks ex execute five seconds faster. Region Shields, plus six single target, plus four group. Or, Damage Deflected Armor Defense, absolutely the Exalter. Oh, but I can't, insufficient level. I've stashed it. Impressive technology, yet a curse nonetheless. Imperium tech is more advanced than ours in every way, so feel free to steal anything you can. I wouldn't mind the opportunity to analyze it. The Imperium must have a huge R&D budget, and yet the actual Imperium soldiers are monumentally stupid. What gives? My best guess is they cross quantum journey. It takes a toll on brain functions. This would explain why they're networked into an advanced AI neural net. Although it's anyone's guess why they refer to this AI as mother. This is why I'm glad that bots do not have parents, only all powerful creators who can legally dismantle us at their whim. Alright, well this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for the first episode. There is more to this preview, and uh, then there's more to the early access version that follows on September 8th. So I love this game, it is great, I love the pixel art, I love the gameplay, I love the music, I love everything about this. They did such a good job with it, and... I my my years of waiting for this to come out have not been in vain. I can't wait to play more. So we're going to do a short uh, three to four episode series, uh, effectively before the release, just over the ne next couple of days, and then we'll come back in a couple of weeks when the game's actually out, and then play some more. Then, so I guess with that, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because obviously I've got a lot of Star Renegades still to do. And a lot of other indie games, too, if you want to check those out as well. Uh, but with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.